What an interesting day it was today in court. Dancy throwing Mr. Sibanda under the bus, giving him no time to relax today. Okay? We all can see Uti I punch the Mr. Unlike the whole week, he was all over the moon, busy bullishing on that day. Like he was just being a bully the whole of this week. I like I've been watching the internet, all the comments, people were complaining and crying the way this guy was bullying Danzi. But today our young man stood up for himself. Big up to Ntanzi. What he did today was so exceptional. Like I'm very, very much happy today. Like I can't wait for the weekend to go and see him and just see that smile in him because I know he knows he did well. I so believe in him. You know, those five questions that he closed the court with, like asking the court, who called Mr. Mchiako? Exactly who called him? Because the whole family don't know Mr. Mchiako. No one approved of Mr. Mchiako. So we need to know where does he come from? Who appointed him to represent Undans? Secondly, who was paying for his services? He's an attorney, and it, so he should be paid for his job. So who was paying him? He must tell the state or the court of law who was paying him. That need to be recorded down. We absolutely need that. As a, fa as a family, as a team, as supporters, everyone who's rallying behind us, we need Njiako to give us his receipt or invoice and tell us who was paying him to represent Ndanzi in that court. Because Ndanzi doesn't know Mr. Njiako. So we really, really need to know that. And why didn't he tell the court that Ndanzi was assaulted? If really Ndanzi was his client, then why didn't he tell the court that his client was assaulted? And then who's that in Chia? Is it a lady or something that he appointed after he was being fired by Dan? Please call that he was fired. He didn't terminate any mandate because he never had any mandate with Undanzi. The interpreter had to interpret the right way. When he said Danzi, when he interpreted for Danzi saying Danzi, uh, Mr. Mchiyako terminated his mandate or withdraw. He didn't withdraw. You only withdraw if you had a contract or a mandate with the client. Giaco was never Ndanzi's representative for that matter. So if he was an real one, he was going to tell the court that Danzi was assaulted. Now, coming to the ammunition, who found those and where are they? We need to see them in court. They should be with the ballistics by now, testing them. Where did these bullets work or where did he get those bullets? We need to know about that ammunition. Because according to Ndanzi, the keys were with him. So who opened for those officers to get those ammunition in Ndanzi's house? Because one, when Ndanzi was staying, you get in with an access card. You don't just budge in. The security by the gate. And the security never saw any police coming in and never opened for any police. Even worse, when Tanzi was arrested, the keys were in his pocket. So does that mean the police took Tanzi's keys and went to his place? Who directed them to his house? We need to know. So I think Tanzi is now showing us and the state that they've got no case against him. They might as well just let the poor guy go home. Now, coming to me, when Vulila Nalbale, that's my daughter. People who make the rain rain while well, the sun is shining. Oh, Mr. Nisi, salute the objection you did today. It was so exceptional. Like, he put Mr. Sibanda to his lane. I think going forward, Mr. Sibanda will do or will go the right way. Because honestly, what he was doing was so out of the way. He was more like an assistant to the witness or something. He was no longer doing his duty as an officer of the court. He was no longer practicing his responsibilities. Thank you to Mr. Nisi for putting it clear to him that you're not doing your job. Let us, the defense, do our job and we will respect you in doing your own job. And who verified Mr. Mchiyako as Ndanzi's representative? Where is the verification? Like, we need that proof that Mr. Mchiyako is indeed an attorney and is indeed, was indeed appointed by Danzi to come represent him. Again, thanks to Mr. Siporam Sibile. Like, he made us all smile at the closing of the, of the court today. 
uh, upon adjournment, everyone was super happy. The uh, in, uh, internet was blazing. Social media was so happy. The re-examination was super. The questions he raised, same questions which Mr. Sibanda was supposed to raise, but he failed to raise them, same as Mr. Baloy. They didn't ask those questions. I'm so, so happy that Mr. Ramsipile raised those questions because you could see, you could see Mr. Sibanda was more like a headless chicken. Like he wanted to hide. Oh, his wish was for the hole to open and just the egg to swallow him. It was bad for him. Salute for Mr. Ramsipile. His examination was so out of this world. His re-examination again started with the bang. So the statement has not just closed the case, guys. They have got nothing against us. They should just let this guy walk away. He has proven beyond measurable measures. Which I am innocent. I know nothing about this. We are so grateful that today they were sticking to the case. Unlike this thing they've been doing all along, dragging those Nongoma case, admission case that we know nothing of, just because they were trying to put Danzi through the mat for something he don't know and nobody know. So I guess today, even those who are so against Danzi, who are believing that Danzi is a hitman, I think today their heads are cleared, their minds are cleared. Like, they all can see now, and unless you are in grade 5e, grade 10e at school, then yeah, we'll understand your situation. Hey, there's nothing we can do with your slowliness. But those who are smart and can see and can tell, they saw what today Danzi went all out. He spoke his heart. And those who are busy saying Danzi should keep on saying Iputa, Iputa, Iputa is a mistake, according to the court of law. And Amanga, Amanga are lies. So stop acting as if you know everything, guys. The advice that people gave Danzi to stop saying a puta or stop saying a man are being rude. No, guys, stop it. Danzi knows what he was doing. Then Danzi has got instructing attorney and advocate there by God who are telling him what's wrong and what's right. So thanks to everyone for the support. The support is so out of this world, guys, I must say. People are really running behind those five accused. I'm so, so happy that our country is coming to something better now. As 99% of people can see that those five guys are wrongfully accused. And we can only pray that in due time, the right culprit should be held responsible for their wrongdoings just in time. But today, guys, no. I am really, really happy about today. Yes, I caught up the proceedings a bit late, but I came in the right time, for, according to me, because reading at the comments on socials, when the case started, it was bad. People were stressing, people were crying. I saw I'm a cry babe, I'm so emotional, so I'm glad I didn't get that part. I only came when Mnisi was making the rains. I'm so, so happy of Mr. Mnisi. What he did today, he didn't say, no, those two are not my clients whatsoever. He just do them an object. That objection was so powerful. Like, I found the internet gun blazing on it. Like, everyone was praising him. That's when I was, uh, it was five minutes after I just tuned in. I was so, so happy as well. So, guys, let's pray tomorrow Mr. Ramsipilo will still be on fire as he was today when he was closing the court. The, the adjournment came just in time, leaving us very, very much happy. We're so happy, guys. I won't lie. Like, I've been going through YouTube comments, everything. Everyone is super happy of what transpired today. So, thank you so much for, to everyone who's supporting this. Thank you, Mr. Ramsupile, for being there for the boys, even on the toughest days. But you stood by them. You you represented them very well. Thank you, Mr. Mbomizu, for your ultimate support and everything in this court of law. Guys, you're doing a very good job, I must say. People are saying you are doing good. You are a very, very good team, a very solid team. Keep on holding on together. You will crack this case. The state has got no case against those five guys. I can say that uh, with no doubt, no hesitation. I'm not afraid to say that those guys sooner they'll be out free. They will be acquitted from this. Those serving their own sentences will carry on with their sentences and Danzi will go home and enjoy his time with his family.